Subaru have always excelled at building rugged, no-frills SUVs. The new Forester picks up where the old one left off, but with more interior space, sharper handling and smarter looks. As you can see, the boot is a decent size. It's bigger than a Nissan Qashqai and has a flat loading lip. Plus, on all but the cheapest models, you can fold the rear seats as easily as a push of a button. Thanks to a lowered floor, there is also more room for passengers, so leg room and head room is plentiful. Plus, these wide opening doors make it easy to get in and out. In fact, the whole cabin is larger because these front pillars have been moved forwards. And for items that you don't store in the boot, you have a large cubby hole here. So I can just fill that with some everyday items. The new Forester certainly lives up to the practical reputation built by previous models. It passes the car by a big bottle test, more storage here, and two cup holders. But a feature that I really like is this sunshine roof, which comes as standard across all models and is perfect for a day like today. Enough of that, let's get driving. The first place I wanted to drive was off-road. The 4x4 system adapts to whatever conditions you are driving in, perfect for the rough British winter, and features hill hold and downhill aid functions as standard. Plus, the suspension settings are well judged, keeping things comfortable on rough ground. And minimising roll in the corners on tarmac. Combine that with the good throttle response, lower centre of gravity and more rigid body and the Forester is an improved drive over the third generation that it replaces. If it's towing that you're going to be doing, this car can tow up to two tonnes and is fitted with a stabilisation system to keep things under control when your caravan or trailer is attached. Although it's time to talk about its negative points and I will start with the steering. Although light, it offers very little feedback. Then there's the CVT automatic gearbox. It's not smooth and it makes a bit of a whining noise. The real whining though will come from your purse because despite fuel consumption and performance figures coming on leaps and bounds in recent years, the Forester is some way behind the competition. You'll be lucky to get 28 miles to the gallon out of the two litre petrol, so you could go for the diesel, which returns a more respectable 49 miles to the gallon. However, that still does not match up to the Ford Cougar or Mazda CX-5. Inside, there are some cheap buttons and switches that could really do with updating. However, let's not forget what type of vehicle this is. It's a rugged, fit-for-purpose, hard-wearing Subaru with a loyal following that love its workmanlike charm. And for that reason, it is sure to win the hearts of those wanting a dependable, reliable, practical SUV.